How you doing, YouTube? I uh, it's Joe D here with you. Ready to share another beer with you. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to start out though by saying, uh, make sure to check out some of the other beer reviewers, man, uh, that are on YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> specifically, uh, a few friends of mine. Uh, beer Expedition. I, I had to write them down, man. I didn't want to forget. There's only a few of them, a few that that I consider close to me. Uh, I'm so fat uh, and beer suckers. All right, so make sure to check them out, man. Beer Expedition. I'm so fat and beer suckers. And then uh, check out Beer Advocate too. He's pretty good as well. Uh, well, that whole group, I guess. But uh, just wanted to get that out there. And uh, man. I, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, uh, giving uh, suggestions for beer reviews. Uh, as you can see, these are some of the ones that I've gone through and crossed out. And uh, my pen wasn't working quite good there. You see, you can see I had to. But uh, I got a whole nother page going here, and then I've crossed out some of those. Heck, I'm going on into the other side now. So I do write them down, man. I'm just trying to show you. This is my official beer list, come from Staples. <laughs> if you guys have a Staples by you, that's where I get my little notepads from. <laughs> so, um, I just want to let you know, just want to show you. Uh, Jody ain't kidding you, bro. Jody ain't kidding you. I, I, I write them down. You, you put them in. in fact, I even, I didn't have it with me one day. I, I left it in my truck because uh, I tried to leave it in my truck so that it wouldn't... <clears throat> <clears throat> Just in case I gotta make an emergency trip to the beer store, bro. <laughs> I call it a beer store. It's really just a liquor store. But uh, <clears throat> uh, I like to call it a beer store, man. That's what I'm doing there. I'm just getting me some beer. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I had to write some down on a piece of paper, too. And then I put that inside my little notepad here. Anyway, back to the review, bro. Here we go. Now, today's mug is something I never showed you guys before. But I, I've had this for a while. I got it for... Birthday gift one day. It's my Rams mug, bro. This one here fits your whole hand into. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Love the Rams, bro. Even though, you know, bro, we suck. But love the Rams, bro. <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, that's real nice. That's pewter, man. That's pewter. I like that. It's, you know, like stuck on the glass so you can kind of see inside. See how it's stuck in the glass. Anyway. Today's beer is Tetley's, man. English Ale. Drought, right? Now, at least they got the right dates on here. The 1822, uh, smooth and creamy, Yorkshire's finest pub ale. And it's 14.9 uh, fluid ounces, basically 15 ounces. Uh, <clears throat> on the website, it says that it's 14.4% uh, by volume there, and it's supposed to be an amber color. I, I've never had this beer, so this would be brand new to me, too. Um, so we shall we shall see, man. We shall check it out. Um, so it's got the widget in there. So as soon as I open it, uh, you should hear some sounds, and then it should start kind of coming out kind of quick. So <laughs> I think last time I did this, I'm moving my keyboard and stuff here because the last time I did this, man, I almost had me an accident. <laughs> that would be good. Now, no cap on this because, as you can see, this is a can. Right? For some reason, <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying, right? Uh, this is a can. <laughs> so there's no cap. Um, <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> some people have asked, but I'm just saying. All right. Here we go. <laughs> you should hear. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Here we go. You hear that? Damn. That's a serious widget too. They ain't messing around. So I like these these beers, bro. And you can just pour them and watch stuff happening. I ain't got my flashlight today, so. But you can kind of pour them and just watch stuff happening in there. Now, as you can tell, this is like a, you ever been to Germany and been to a fest? <clears throat> I've got, I've still got a few of them. Matter of fact, I'll do a review in one of my fest mugs. I've still got a fest mug from when I was in Germany. But, I swear to God, it's the same size. <laughs> so, all you German people watching from Germany, 
Uh, this is the same size. This is the American version of your mug, bro. It's the same size. So uh, you can you can see how that beer just started happening. Now, look at the, look at the creaminess in that hit. You can't see a single bubble in that hit. Not till you get up to the top. Look, see how much like on this side you can kind of see it. See, little bubbles, but you ain't seen nothing there. Look at that. Whew, look at the color in that beer. Now I don't know what's going on there. I don't know, there's something on the glass, I guess, but. <clears throat> Ah. Ha! <laughs> it just makes you get crazy. Huh? I love this glass, man. I could pour two Guinness in here, bro. <laughs> anyway, here we go, man. Get a good taste. Ah. Man, that is smooth. Now, someone asked me not too long ago, <clears throat> just like a few days ago, what would be a good sweeter type beer? Right here, bro. Right here. This beer is not bitter at all. This is a real nice. <clears throat> they said they had on the website. It said that they had some uh, choice hops they put in there and stuff, and they probably do. Okay, of course they do. But <clears throat> they definitely concentrated more on the malt, and since it's a, such a creamy head. You know it's just going to be smooth. It's just going to be... And yeah. Because you can definitely smell the malt in the beer. <clears throat> I have to get way up in there with my nose. Sorry. Mmm. Mmm. I love them widget beers, man. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, <clears throat> just on a little side note. If there's an American company that makes a widget beer, let me know, because I'd like to get it. So, uh, if, if any of you out there know that there's an American beer that has a widget, let me know, because I'd like to try it. But, uh, as far as I know, they're all like Irish, uh, Scottish, right, and English. Those are the only widget beers I know. Anyway, this is another English one, and this one's damn good. Mm. Look what's happening inside there. Look at that. Now I won't tilt it too far because I still got some stuff in there. I don't want to be wasting beer, bro. But this one's good. And this one's affordable. I think a four pack might have cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of a buck of beer, I guess. So if you have one, you got to have six, bro. Let me tell you. Because this is good. Mmm. Damn good. I, oh, I mean, that is. Definitely, if you're not into bitter beers and you like <clears throat> more malty beers and sweeter, that's the one for you. So, Tetley's. Try it. The English Ale tells you right there on the label. Very good. Very, very good. All right, brother. And a few of my sisters out there. So, let me know. Let me know what you think. Leave comments. <whistles> Down there. Two thumb up beer right here. Bing, 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 bing. All right. It is. It's good. So, that's it, bro, <laughs> that I can think of, okay, alright, man, peace.